so guys tv millie i'm back with another one so let's talk about quant in the rise of quant baby up 87 percent on the month man i challenge everybody to look at this chart man and understand what the new narratives in crypto will be in the next bull run at least some of them we got to keep it honest at least some of them as you can see right here you got huobi you got casper um you got xrp and then you got quant and xdc and i think one two three four four of these fit that narrative of the iso 222 tokens and then we got maker which is also a good project and uh, ethereum name service which is also good as well so pay attention to the new narratives that's actually heating up inside the crypto space because you don't want to be left behind and most importantly you can see here man um this is from charles Pearman. it says uh three types of coins in preparation for the next crypto bull sun bull run excuse me um interoperability coins quant uh green coins algo h bar xrp utility coins h bar xrp quant so you know if, you, if you're dca into these iso tokens this is the time to gear up and get ready for these next crypto bull runs for the people that's actually new to the channel let's talk about what quant is so uh because a lot of people need to know why quant and the utility interoperability and the scarcity of the token is some of the main reasons that it is pumping so quant is a project that emphasizes interoperability on a huge scale the project aims to connect every network on the globe to one another it aims to do this not through bridges but through over ledger so over ledger family is one of those projects that a lot of people seem to be migrating because unlike um chains like cross chains over ledger is way more uh, has way more security so it says overledger is one of the first ever blockchain that de dedicated operating systems through overledger a user that has instant seamless access to any blockchain network it has uses for both end users and developers as well as users as have the luxury of assessing any number of blockchains within a single application programming interface and developers can create and deploy multi-chain applications so that's the that's the word of the day man enter ability the overledger network offers a layer of added security when moving assets from one chain to another so that's why business will be using this governments may be using this and hopefully um um they'll make it to where it'll be more adoptable for retail because that's one of the big things in the, uh what's on the talk of you know of twitter and the whole uh xrp um quant beef is like oh well it will will um retail actually use it does does people will people actually use quant and um i actually think they will anything that when you got a question um if institutions will use it and even um governments man i think that it could be potentially big especially as the narrative for cbdc's continues to heat up all right, family. So let's take a look at the charts, man. You can see Quant is sitting here at about 188 bucks. Even with the volume down, it's still rising. So that just tells you how bullish this project is. As most people want to get in now, as this circulating supply dries up, um, and the scarcity and the rarity of this project becomes important because the higher the price out, um, then the average retail will get um, priced out and won't be able to actually to afford this token. So. You know, if, if you didn't if you didn't get this like 40 bucks, uh, uh, if you didn't get get it in like 40 bucks, like I, I wanted to, you feel me? Then, you know, I got in around 80, 90. So I'm already up. But again, a lot of people don't see this, this, this project actually retracting down. Um, You can see right here, they're comparing this project actually to Bitcoin and Quant has better tokenomics than Bitcoin. So you can see right here from Crypto Manny, make sure y'all go follow him. I'll set the example here. Uh, in the summer of 2015, Bitcoin was bottoming process. It was trading in the 160 and 200 range. Family sounds sim uh, similar, right? Uh, in September of 2015, MACD for the Bitcoin turned bullish. Three months later, the shaft trend cycle followed, and then Bitcoin traded from the 160 range family to a 2017 all-time high of 19,000. Now, I'm not saying Quant could go to 19,000. I'm not saying it can't, because when you look at the um, the institutional adoption, that's when you start to think like, man, maybe this thing could actually make that type of run as more people adopt it. It says when uh, just a tech guy, go follow him as well. He says when the CEO of Quant Network tells you everyone at Swift is having interoperability issues and wants to go into production ASAP, you better hold Quant. 
So this is the number one project for interoperability right now in the top 30. I think it just flipped uh, Algo family. So that just lets you know that it, it is heating up. And you're hearing institutions, you're hearing SWIFT, you're hearing, you're hearing governments. This is the type of stuff that ushers in adoptions. When you see governments and countries using it, come on, man. You know, this is kind of like a no-brainer. It's kind of like a no-brainer. You feel me? So, and plus, Cebos has given them a platform um, to take the uh, marketing to a whole nother step. You gotta understand, Quant Network is at Cebos right now, and, and these are some of the things that they actually highlighted in Cebos. So, um, first important, first and foremost, DLT, Distributed Ledger Technology. DLT will eventually replace much of our current infrastructure because it's inherently more efficient, agile, and secure. Of course, next on the list is 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 interoperability uh, new ecosystem networks and digital assets are eagerly being deployed on blockchains but much like the early days of the internet they're built in walled gardens without true interoperability these won't deliver on their potential bringing business knowledge standards and the right technology together is the answer so okay so if you for instance quant is the glue that that's going to stick everything together quant is the nucleus is that's going to bring the true potential out of these blockchains family everybody will have to use quant to get the true potential out of their project understand what you're investing in all right um and then i'm gonna skip these two so you should already know digital assets tokenized money you feel me every day they're looking to tokenize some of the top like gold Man, I'm not. They're tokenizing assets, family, traditional assets, all right. And then we got central bank digital currencies, um, where privately issued digital money has led with great promises in specific use cases. CBDCs will allow, will will follow with much broader potential implemented with the consideration for security, privacy, and proper interoperability. CBDCs will empower governments and their citizens alike. So. Y'all let me know. Did you get a chance to get inside Quant Man? I know, I know, you know, I, I try to. Um, because you know, I'm I'm not this huge wealthy guy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm this is my crypto journey. But this is one, even though you see it at one eight one hundred and eighty-eight bucks, man. I don't think you should overlook it and think like, oh, I'm priced out. You know what I'm saying? Do your own research, not financial advice, not investment advice, but you know what I'm saying, I'm telling you, people are calling this the next bitcoin so y'all let me know what y'all think about quant in the comments like and subscribe if you want to see me do more quant video soap gods tv millie i'm out